Hi, my name is Stephen and I work in the user experience team at Redgate Software. I'd like to give you a little demo of an app called UI Sketch that was developed in-house by one of our developers in only nine days. It's more of a proof of concept but it has some really nice features and I thought I'd share it. So, if I go to UI Sketch, you can see that I've already created a wireframe. On the left hand side there are Windows controls Further down you can see containers such as windows group boxes. There are a couple of shapes there at the bottom and a sticky note. So moving on to the wireframe, one of the features is the properties widget. I can click on any control and you can see the different states and changes I can make. For example, this checkbox, if I go to state, I can unselect it. Additionally, I can also lock controls using the little lock symbol in the top right. This can be especially helpful when you want to prevent controls accidentally moving when clicking and dragging. One of the other features is the grouping. So, if I select a radio button and place it in, I no longer have to group the radio button with the preview button, for example, because it's in a container both automatically get grouped together. One additional feature is the page view. Simply click on the button and it provides a thumbnail view of all the designs I've already created. This can be very useful when trying to organize your design files. Double clicking simply takes me into that particular slide. Again, I can change the state of different controls I can change things like the background color. Let's change the button to a slightly darker. And if I change the foreground color, I can give it something quite different. It also supports transparency. One of the nicest features of this UI sketch tool is the ability to theme the controls from wireframes to something more like uh, Windows controls. So, we currently have our dialogue with the different wireframe. I simply click realistic and the look and feel of all the controls has now changed to something more akin to Windows 7. You can apply this to any page you wish. Here you can see the tabs have now changed to something more realistic. I can add tabs simply by clicking the little plus or remove them by clicking the minus. It also has support for images. Click on the image control, click open, and there's your image. One final feature I want to demo is the tree view. If I select page one again and click tree, it shows it in this map. Now I can double click and either create a copy of page one or create a new slide. Let's go into the new slide and drop a control into it. In the top right you can see that it's connected to page one. So let's go back to page one and click tree and you can see the hierarchy and which slides link to which. This can, again can be very useful if you're trying to organize uh, your different uh, prototyping wireframes. So that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you want to try out the app, just download it from the landing page. We'd love to hear from you, so if you have any questions or suggestions, then please post in the user voice forum, and the link for that can also be found on the landing page. Thanks for watching.